Hey there, don't freak out about monkeypox. But, oh, maybe freak out just a tiny bit. I mean, it's like, don't panic, but maybe keep a little side eye on it, just in case. Stick around till the end of this video, and I'll let you know if we're gonna die or not. Spoiler alert, probably yes. So here's the deal. Monkeypox isn't exactly the Green Ripper knocking at your door. It's unusually deadly, but if you decide to just wing it while showing symptoms, well, let's just say you might be pushing your luck a bit. Let's start with the basics. Monkeypox gets around through close contact with someone or something infected. It could be an animal, a person, or even a surface that's been contaminated. The virus has this annoying little habit of sneaking into your body through cuts, broken skin, or any of those vulnerable mucous membranes. Oh, and by the way, it's to have been shown that you can catch it from having sex with an infected person, just in case you needed one more thing to worry about in your love life. Now, most people don't get hit too hard by this thing. Your typical monkeypox journey could go something like this. First up, you might feel a little bit wiped out. It could start with a little, meh, I'm kinda tired feeling. But by the end of the day, you're flat out exhausted. You'll wonder how you got so tired just from living. And just when you're thinking it's probably just a bad day, boom, lesions. Now, these aren't just your average pimples, no, 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 these are bumps that have a sort of whitish tint to them. They're so uninvited guests that can pop up anywhere on your body. The genital area, your rectum, hands, legs, basically they can show up like, surprise, here too. Next, we enter fever territory. Your body's gonna crank up the heat, whether it's a mild or raging fever, but trust me, it'll be there. And just keep things interesting, your lesions will likely multiply, and you might even wake up with them on your face. Fun times, right? At this point, you might want to hit up your doctor for some blood work because monkeypox symptoms can feel like your run-of-the-mill cold. You don't want to brush it off, thinking it's just a chill, and then find out you've been carrying around a full-blown case of monkeypox. Oh, and let's not forget the swollen lymph nodes. These are those little gland bodies that can get all puffed up and sore. It's weird, it's uncomfortable, and it's just another delightful part of the monkeypox experience. This roller coaster ride usually lasts for about 6 to 13 days. If things start looking better after that, congratulations, you're on the mend. When those pesky lesions begin to cross over and fall off, you can breathe a sigh of relief. That's a sign that the virus is waving goodbye. The tiredness will likely hang around for a bit longer, but hey, at least you're almost in the clear. Just make sure you're in touch with a healthcare pro through this whole saga, okay? Having the right meds on hand will make the whole ordeal a little less miserable. And once all these crusts have fallen off and your blood work says you're good to go, you're no longer contagious. But remember, you're basically a walking germ factory from the moment the virus enters your system until those crusts are history. Before you go, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, it really helps us out. And honestly, don't stress too much about monkeypox. The odds of actually dying from it are about 10%, which, okay, sounds kinda high, but you know, it is what it is. Until next time, stay safe and keep those lesions in check.